What's up guys, it's Nirvana back here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a NXT TakeOver War, well not TakeOver anymore, but NXT War Games predictions. Now NXT War Games is this Sunday streaming live on the WWE Network around the world, but Peacock here in the United States. Let's not waste any more time and let's get down with the predictions. Now, we always know the NXT Women's War Games match usually starts off the show. So we are going to start off with the NXT Women's War Games match. Now we have two teams. I believe it's Team EO against Team Mandy or it could be Team Raquel against Team Dakota. I'm going with Team EO versus Team Mandy. So Team EO is EO Shirai, Kaylee Ray, Raquel Gonzalez, and Cora jade and team mandy consists of mandy rose gg dolan jc jane and dakota kai now as we know team k um team eo shirai won the advantage due to kaylee ray winning that advantage ladder match on um nxt i am very excited to see this match um i really liked the war games match from last year so hopefully the woman can um do it twice in a row um, I feel like all the women's war games have been good so far, so hopefully they don't disappoint. And I feel like this war games, it's kind of newer woman um, than we usually seen. Um, last year, I feel like it was kind of the top woman, but now we kind of see Gigi, JC, Cora, like the newer woman starting to get um, time on mainstream. And I'm very surprised that they decided to do a war games match with these women. Um, judging by how new they are, but I hope they could deliver, um, because this could be great for all of their futures, um, so this match, I feel like it is going to be a great match, I really have high hopes for it, um, usually it does go that the person who wins, the team who wins the advantage match always loses the war games match, I mean, it happens every single time so i'm a little worried for team um eo shirai and i gotta go with team mandy um even though cora is my favorite and she is on team eo i feel like team mandy has so much momentum and i feel like losing to team eo because let's face it team eo is just four random people put together i mean kaylee ray doesn't even like her own team raquel and eo don't like each other cora is kind of the wild card when i feel like team mandy is a cohesive unit team mandy wins and i believe that mandy will get the pin over um eo shirai next up we have in a hair versus hair match we have duke hudson taking on cameron grimes now this match i am excited for we do know that Cameron Grimes had both his beard and his hair cut shortened by Duke Hudson, but could Duke Hudson take it all off this Sunday? Now, this match, I was a little eh about, um, I'm wondering how they're gonna do it. Like, I can't picture either one of these men bald, especially Cameron Grimes. So, I don't think they're going to cut either one of these guys' hair. I feel like there's going to be some type of... Um, something's going to happen. Like, if Duke loses, then he's going to kind of run away before he can get his hair cut. And then if Cameron Grimes win, I feel like somebody's going to help Cameron Grimes, like a new person. Um, but if I had to pick a winner, I got to go with Duke Hudson. I personally am not a big fan of Cameron Grimes. I mean... He's great in the ring. He has a great character, but he's just not one of my favorites. And I feel like a way to uplift a new comer. Um, and I feel like that's what NXT has kind of been doing now that with this 2.0. They're trying to build up some new people. And I feel like a great way to build up, build up Duke Hudson is to have him win this match. Because he did lose the Breakout Star Tournament. And he hasn't really won many matches ever since he started NXT. So a great breaking like a great shining moment for a new star would be to have him win so duke hudson is my pick to win this match but i do think there's gonna be a new person to help cameron grimes next up we have for the nxt tag team championships we have marcel bartel and fabian eichner imperium taking on von wagner and kyle o'reilly i personally am not a fan of kyle o'reilly and von wagner as a team i feel like that pairing is very weird 
but I feel like a lot of pairings that don't make sense end up making sense, so I'm just gonna give them a little bit of time, um, and I'm surprised that they gave them this opportunity this quick, I mean, um, MSK still hasn't had, or have they had, I don't think they've, yeah, MSK still hasn't had their rematches, um, for the NXT Tag Team Championship, so I'm wondering why Wagner and O'Reilly got this opportunity, but I'm extremely excited to see what is going to happen, um, with this match, and I really hope that we get to see Imperium retain the titles, because I feel like Imperium has so much left to do with the titles. I mean, they've been champions before, but their first reign kind of wasn't memorable, so I feel like they have a second chance right now to change that up and do something better um with imperium and possibly bring walter to the united states to help them out because what if walter helps them win on sunday um next up we have for the cruiserweight championship we have roger strong taking on joe gacy now this match i am interested in um because we all know jay joe little joe gacy has that little bodyguard um, I think his name is Hans. I think that's what they called him. That's the name they gave him. And um, that is going to be a wild card for Joe Gacy. And in all of NXT, I mean, there's no telling what he could do. I mean, Roderick Strong does have Diamond Mind, but Diamond Mind, there's so much. I mean, Ivy Nile can't take out, um, cannot take out um, Vaughn. I mean, Hans, and Julius, and, well, the Creed brothers, I should say, I don't think they're going to be able, they'll put up a good fight, but I don't think they're going to be able to take him down, but I do think Roderick Strong will retain the title, but it will be by a sneaky kind of cheating way, um, and, yeah, so, that's all I have to say about that match, um, next up, I think we have our main event, yeah, we've done Women's War Games, Tag, yeah, we have our main event, which is going to be a, the men's war games match. And this is kind of new generation versus old generation. The new generation consists of Braun Breaker, who I believe is the team captain, um, Grayson Waller, Carmelo Hayes, and Tony D'Angelo. That's kind of a weird pairing. I mean, a weird faction. And then we have the old school, which is, I believe, Tommaso Ciampa is the team captain, Johnny Gargano. Pete Dunn and L.A. Knight. Now, that is kind of one of the best teams we've ever seen on War Games. And I feel like, sorry guys, but it's going to be hard to beat them. But I got to go with the old generation. I feel like the old generation is just an unstoppable force. And I kind of got to go with the um, kind of curse that happens with the people who win the advantage. And Braun Breaker did win the advantage. So that's going to be hard. For his team and i feel like he's already started his team off on the wrong track um but like i said earlier i feel like the new nxt is building up new um new comers and new faces of nxt but i feel like those four guys are the faces of nxt and they are going to be the faces of nxt for a very long time and i feel like Making them lose would diminish all for them, especially the champion, Tommaso Ciampa. So I got to go with the older generation. Um, and I feel like it's going to be Tommaso Ciampa pinning probably um, Grayson Waller or Tony D'Angelo. They'll probably sacrifice one of them to, to take the pinfall. But that was my War Games prediction. It's a little shorter because it was only five matches. Leave your predictions down in the comment section below. I would love to read them. Um, and reply to them. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, champs.